drama, action, tears. Live from Hollywood, this is The Robert Report. Hey guys, welcome hey, back. Cool. Oh, look at me, I'm half in the shade there. Hi guys. Hey, yeah, Hi guys. take your shades off, bro. Yeah, yeah. You actually, you're the one with the shades, buddy. You're That's right. Sick. Oh, That's true. That's pretty cool. Oh, I know. Should I wear them for this segment so well, I can well, pretend yeah. that I'm paying attention? Well, yeah, sure. Robert, sick. the calories for that smoothie, Sleeping. the $17 Erewhon smoothie. We found smoothie. out. Not listed. Not listed. No. Okay. I'll That's have right. to inquire deeper. We'll go for an extra mile to run today, right? Did you tell I already her worked to out today, bro. Don't get me with that. <laughs> no. Goodbye. Uh, I just, I just, I will, I guess. Uh, I'm trying to sleep. Three blind mice are over here. God. <laughs> looking for Shrek. <laughs> I'm okay. the other professional. Well, welcome back to the Robert Report on The Bachelor. It's a double feature. Yesterday we watched these women, the former contestants of The Bachelor, um, fight as if they were at a home goods blowout cell. They clawed each other's <laughs> eyes out and were flat out just mean to one another. It, it, it's terrible to watch. But it appears that all those women who were sent home may have actually been the winners after all because they don't have to deal with the mess that is Clayton. <laughs> It's yeah, that's, that's it true. That's fair. Night. It was pretty rough. That's pretty good. We left off with three girls, Rachel, Susie, and Gabby, and it's really unfortunate because I feel like no one close to Clayton told him that a blazer with a zip-up sweater underneath does not look good. <laughs> so just like that, I don't think no one told him the rules of this show. And there's very particular rules. The idea of this show is to fall in love, but I never thought it important to ever include the last part with one person. Oh. To fall in love with one person. That's, yep, that's Do you hear this? There. He's laying down the law, <laughs> ladies and gents. And I feel Fantasy Suites is a great test and dedication, uh, a great test to the dedication and supposed trust these girls have built with The Bachelor, Clayton. And he failed massively, or succeeded epically depending on the goals and values one holds, mm. if you're just trying to get laid. He ends up spilling his <laughs> oh, guts. Oh, no, we got it, thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he ends up spilling his guts to all three girls. He tells all of them that he's falling in love with each of them. What? I'm not sure if he was trying to get them just to go to Fanny Sue Suites, but this made look this made Clayton look really, really bad and just unaware. He first went on a date with Rachel, the flight instructor, and in what incredible during dinner he broke the news. Watch. Kind of come to terms like with what I am feeling. Um and I kind of wish I had told you earlier. I was kind of holding on to it, um, so. Just like, say it. Just say it. I'll just come out and say, like, Wait. I'm falling in love with you. Oh. I am, and oh. I okay, have. Okay, so under any other circumstance, <laughs> under any other, so you could under under any other circumstance, what would you like? If you told a girl you're falling in love with her, would you then go on two other dates to see how you feel with those two other girls? Like okay, you already but said it to this one girl. It should, the show should be ended. Should be this is not new though. Like multiple contestants have said this, haven't they? Like I feel like they always I so, are like. Yeah. I think I'm falling in love with you. Yeah. I remember. I remember like Tasha saying it to a couple of dudes. They all kind of do this, don't they? They hedge. Is there a particular difference between I think I'm falling in love with you yeah. to I'm in love with you? Yeah, absolutely. There's a big difference. Yeah, I would, yeah. I would say so. I would say so. It's, it's, it's a difference of semantics there, my friend. It's semantics. But did, it's just like words. It's Sama Her name is Samantha. Did he say, <laughs> did he say I'm in love with you or did he say I, I'm I think falling I'm falling in love with you? He said I'm, said I'm yes. falling in love with you, which yes. is like a nice way to hedge your Right. You're you're weak. Wait, so what are you arguing that I'm falling in love with you is different than what? Then I I'm am in love, love with you. Oh, gotcha. Right? Is there? Would you interpret yes. it differently? Yes, it's not semantics. One of them is like, yeah, it's not. They're not the same. I mean, I'm falling in love with you is that I'm too scared to just tell you that I am. So I'm saying you're hedging. Yeah. Mm. Okay, maybe he's hedging. So pay attention to what he says to these next women. Then, just like he wanted, they moved on to fantasy suites with Rachel, the girl he just said, I love you too. They woke up to next, uh, they woke up next to one another. He made her breakfast in bed. And right before he left, he said those magical words again. He yelled it very, at the top of his lungs. Watch. Oh, oh so my weird. God. Hey. I'm cringing. I love you. Oh. oh. I love you too, Rachel. Wait, so what? Oh wait, my wait, God! Wait. So he has two more? Yeah. Oh, 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 listen to me. I miss you. Yeah. As if, yeah I'm gonna miss you. As so if he's never gonna see her again. He's like, that was a fun I night. I love it too, girl. Take care. Of Deuces. Like it's weird. It's so strange. It, it, it was weird that he did that, and it's it's ah, it's terrible because just like the deja vu. I love you too, it. Rachel. That's your name, right? <laughs> it's Rachel. <laughs> love you too, girl. I love you too, la lady, woman. Uh, Woman number three. That I appreciate and respect. <laughs> Just uh, checking it out. Oh, oh. And then they like bashful walk away. It's yeah, so silly. weird. Yeah. Wait, so this makes me sad because there are two other girls oh, who still are sad. meeting is, with this him, is, this is, this is not thing. knowing that he's feeling this way about her. About her. Oh, yes. 
And exactly. also, oh, how he's, he's going feeling... to tell the other two girls the same thing, right, Robert? Oh. I'm assuming. But just like Deja Vu, he does it all over again. Ah! And I mean, good on him because. I, oh. I, like, don't don't you love all different toppings on your pizza? And sometimes it's hard to choose between one or the other. Sometimes it's a little difficult. Bobby's like, how dare you bring pizza? <laughs> yeah, don't bring, do, do not do not bring pizza into this. <laughs> and I feel that's the same struggle that Clayton was facing. But instead of pizza and toppings, it's other people yeah. and their complex emotions. Right. So, but it's pretty screwed up. Uh, here he is again, saying he's falling in love with someone else. It's Gabby. Watch. Oh no. To hear the word like love, you know, when you said it, it was like that's not holding back, like that's being all in. Yeah. And yeah, I can't yeah. believe at times that like I'm fortunate enough to like be receiving that kind of love. And so I, I really just wanted to say thank you so much because Ugh. now it's really showed yeah. me that I was like, wow, like this is something special. My God. Oh. And you've really allowed me to get there as well Whoa. because I was so oh. afraid. Is he a sociopath? This guy is a scum bag. Because of that. Um, you know, I've, I've, I, I've realized that, like, mm -hmm. uh -huh. you know, I'm falling in love with you. Oh, oh in the same oh, creepy oh, way! Really so am. upsetting! It wasn't just, like, something I came to today. I had oh, yeah, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. okay. I myself to, like, admit it because I was I'm so fearful from, like, my past relationship. I don't believe him. I don't believe him with this yeah. oh. Oh. Oh, 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 Yeah, and that's, 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 and not uh, hold back any longer. Uh, oh. And and once disgusting. again, <laughs> I didn't I didn't believe him with this girl. I I think I believed him with the the last. It girl. was a little less believable, right? Yes. Yeah. I, I agree with you. Absolutely. Oh, sorry, that's it me. was like he was like staggering his words <laughs> a little bit. He wasn't so confident in what he was saying and how he was saying it. So and once again they wake up next to one next to one another. Oh. At the Suites. He also made oh a breakfast in bed. Oh my gosh! He's such a piece of garbage. Yeah. You, this, this is this in the. Is... I totally forgot this is in the fantasy suite. I don't know why. He's gone months out. dry. Okay, so you have to understand <laughs> that. You don't know that. You don't know that. <laughs> And once again, he says, he yells, I love you from afar. No, this time no. it was really aggressive, well, though, Just watch the and thing. it wasn't so direct. Oh. Just. Oh. He does not. Walking away this morning With a trench hard, coat. But a blazer really trench coat? To be able to uh, tell Gabby my feelings. Oh, no. Hold back this geodesic rendezvous sponsored by Banana to... Republic. Hey, Gabby, yeah. one more thing. Oh, no. no. I no. just want you to know <gasps> that I am falling in love, and it feels so good! Not with you! Oh, oh my god! It was a little less direct. What a yeah. psycho! Like the last one he said, I love like, you! And this oh, one's, I'm falling in love. Yeah. I'm falling in love, and there's a couple other things. I, this guy, I've got a lot of things prepared okay, to so say here. one more, right? There's one I more. Also, wait, I also want to posit that what if we're now getting a glimpse into, like, the behind the scenes, like this is what the producers make them do with all the girls, and they just edit it yeah, to make him look like a scumbag. It. They're just like, yeah, Colton, we need you to like turn around when you're walking away and tell each girl that you're falling in love with them. Oh, and then depending crazy. on who you pick, we'll build the story around that. And he's like, okay. And then they yeah, go and edit maybe, it yeah. to make it look like, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe that's giving him too much credit because he does look like a scummy. He, 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 his name's Colton? Clayton. 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 Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. They're so all like, the same. Yeah. Like you said, Sam, we're left with one more. There's one more left. And it's Susie herself. I consider her the princess. She's my favorite contestant of all time. She's so adorable, wholesome, and respectable. She's, uh, since, uh, boy, I'll stand by. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm getting ahead of my bridges here. Since she was the last one, she obviously had to ask Clayton if he slept with those other girls, and more importantly, if he said, I love you to anyone else. Oh. But before that, here's Clayton saying, I love you to Susie. And I had my own walls up. And oh, I was God. so afraid to admit it. But since that point, it's like, a little more direct. It's no longer about me falling in love with you. Like I am in love with you. Oh my God, dude! Well, okay, what <laughs> dump, the hell? You can dump out of that. Like, I wanted wasn't to tell that you. was that a lot different than the other two girls? You tell me. You'd be the judge. Was that I entirely different? I think maybe that one was more. The the second girl in this lineup is screwed. No matter what, yes. yeah. <laughs> if you hear someone within the period of a, a few days say the exact same thing multiple times. Mm. The first time you hear it, like we, the clip that you played us first, we believe more than definitely than the third time we saw it. Yeah, yeah, you know right, what I mean? because you hear it the first time. And yeah, I just, I don't believe any of it. It's, it sucks, yeah. What happened though? But she wasn't so quick to invite him back to the fantasy suites. This is why I love Susie. This is her questioning him. Oh, good for her. I know you just told me that like, you feel like you're in love with me, but I don't know, like, do you feel that same way with somebody else? Or have you, 
like the music. slept with another woman. Yeah. Like those are Ooh. things Hannah that Brown? Like, I think would Susie. be it does kind of look like impossible it. to move forward towards an engagement. <gasps> oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the answer. Your love with somebody else. <gasps> I don't think that I would be comfortable. Like, oh, I guess my. Mm, there's your answer, girl. I guess my. Uh, if Clayton on. was tough, but Clayton was actually extremely open about everything, this is him answering her. Mm. To answer your question, yes. Like, I have slept with someone else here. Mm -hmm. And. Yes, I've expressed feelings towards someone else I'm falling in love. Oh. Gotcha. If you feel like you're in love with me, like, it doesn't, like, make sense to me to, like, sleep with somebody else. Like, those are, like, the two things where I'm, like, feeling strong. It's like, coming into a deal breaker for tonight her. and, like, moving forward. I, I don't think I would feel comfortable. So, she's like, clearly... I told myself coming into this that I wouldn't fall in love with multiple women. But what? it's happened. And it happens. what I can tell you, though, yeah. is that where I stand, there's different feelings for different people. It's not I love them less. What? Like, what? Like, what? You, what? Isn't that what? gross? Yeah. Yeah. Else. Yeah. This guy sucks. I, okay, yeah. it gets worse, Andrew. Thank you for saying oh, no. that. Why I, I do get, we have this, to see it? No, because you have to, because I watched it last night. That's why you have to watch no, it. No, that's the weird, <laughs> some weird no. prison. Like, because that's the me. segment. His, like, serial killer, like, when she asks him, he's like, yeah, dude, you could see like a switch flip. Yeah, man. he's Seriously. like so weird. After he was honest with yeah. her, she admitted that her feelings for him have changed based on his actions, which is fair. But this is not fair. Clayton responded to that very poorly. He became in a, a baby entirely and tried oh, to make her the bad God. guy. Oh. And I genuinely got so pissed off watching this part. Uh, this is Clayton getting mad. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I mean, in my eyes, like, you just invalidated everything that we had. It's her fault. What? <laughs> And it's just like to me, like if you cared so much about me, if you really oh, actually thought gas I was a person, lighter. and uh -huh. instilled Yikes. like this belief in you that there's good men out there, and I reinstilled that, and like your family said, oh, ew, ew, go like, away, like, like I would think cut you would the feed, through something like this. <laughs> cut the feed. Everything that you have said to me tonight, Wait. like, and and it's actually like made me rethink. Like, did I go about this the wrong way? Like, was I expecting too much? No, or, like, no. You know, it's made me think those things, but then at the same time, I'm like, but you had sex with two women. If, if you had this big old reservation, this huge deal breaker, oh. why would you not bring this up? You oh, should know. Oh, my God. God. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, I just so wild. Like, sure why wouldn't now. you like, want me to not have sex with two other women and then actually be in love like, with them, like, too? Okay. Why would that be a problem for you? No, it is. You're putting this on me now. I'm not. I'm not. I'm telling you right now, like, I realize, like, it feels very much like this is like ending and like because you put it into it i know it. i know oh my like, god yeah. dude oh. strongly about what i'm feeling it's i'm not trying to place any extra blame on you but the, the fact of the matter is, did, is like i don't even know who i'm looking at anymore okay. oh my god oh my this god this guy is Bye. disgusting we're done D can, you can imagine how upset i was last wait night. now <laughs> i'm mad at that girl from the tell all last night who was like i know what you've been through and i just want to say i hope you're okay I hope you're okay yeah no i hope susie's okay man uh, you know wait so he didn't pick her that was it well Clayton. she probably well, we left right okay wait, sorry, go ahead. let me finish clayton okay. sucks as you guys were just saying susie as a bachelorette, will be a dream come true. She will be killer. I really hope they choose her because uh, he sent her packing. And now America, hopefully, will possibly get three whole months of her gorgeous blowout hairdo. Um, <laughs> so I'm really excited for that. At the end of that episode, he ends up crying and says something. I'm broken. I don't know what to do. How am I supposed to move on? It's like you're supposed to move on with two other girls that you already said I love you to. That's yeah. how you move on. And he's like questioning everything now. When you he has made two your other bed, girls, and you're gonna like, lay in it, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got also a real question, and I hope that this isn't like out of line to ask, but it, it's like if we're gonna cancel Chris Harrison, uh -huh. why wouldn't this guy get canceled too? For this man is inflicting her? like actual psychological damage on multiple people, and mm -hmm. is being like a I don't want to say it. This is I know it's a played out thing, but kind of a textbook narcissist, sort of, sort of a, a gaslighter and exhibiting you, a lot of bad behavior. You don't think it's fair to I'm gonna play devil's advocate for a second. You don't think it's fair for a person to say, let me test the waters and make sure that that's not gonna work, that's not gonna work, and now I know for a fact that I tried those two things. Now I know that you're gonna be my choice because those. That's are the not two the argument. Didn't work. The argument is not was he fine to hook up with the other two. Absolutely. The argument is him making her feel like she did something fault. wrong yeah. uh, by ending it because of that. Watching him manipulate. I just watched myself at like 20 years old yeah, you and were, go like, you no, were, no, were, but like, yeah. I just want to, I feel like this is ending and I don't uh -huh. want it to end. Let it end, girl. 
Le look at how he's treating you. Yeah, Goodbye. It's bad. It's bad Goodbye. News. Bad news. So this is I'll also the best thing that could have ever happened uh, in terms of, of exposing him for being a scumbag. <laughs> who, who knows what like he did that they picked him to be the bachelor and then now mm -hmm. you come to realize like, mm -hmm. oh, this guy's trash. Uh, my Kathy has weighed in and said, I can't believe this awful show. He's a psycho. He's a psycho. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. I'm just so, saying like, if we're going to have, if we're going to hold all the people on TV to these like insane levels of moral uh, uh, turpitude. Yep, yep. He needs to go. Well, Two girls left, goodbye. guys. And we'll find out next week. Another double feature. Uh, hopefully he chooses somebody and sticks with it. We'll find out. Thank you. And more of your moral, what did you call it? Turpitude. After the break, right here on Vibe Live. I don't, I don't know what's right. <laughs>